In this video, I'm going to discuss about some common instruments used in surgical practice. Let's start with scissors. Many different types of scissors are used in surgery. Mayo scissor is one of them. They can be either curved or straight. Curved Mayo scissor is mainly used for cutting heavy tissues such as muscles, fascia, uterus, breast, and foot. Straight Mayo scissors are mainly used to cut sutures and dressings. It is important to note that Mayo scissors have a blunt end to minimize tissue damage. Mitzenbaum scissor, also known as the fine scissor, has a long handle and the ends are relatively short. It is used to cut fine and delicate tissues and the ends could be sharp or blunt. Next up is the cord scissor, which is used to cut the umbilical cord during delivery. Then we have retractors. The main purpose of retractors is to separate tissues from each other to facilitate surgery. There are many different types of retractors available, and the most common ones are mentioned here. Sen retractor is used to retract surface tissue and used in plastic surgery, small bone and joint procedures, thyroidectomy, and dissection of neck tissue. Holman retractors are available in several different forms and are used in orthopedic surgery to expose bone. Army-Navy retractor is used to retract shallow or superficial incisions. Ribbon retractor, also known as the malleable retractor, is used to retract deep wounds and can be bent to various shapes to assist in holding tissue. Next we have the Ferrobuf retractor, which is mainly used in dentistry, wrist and hand procedures, and hernia repair. Doyen retractor is mainly used in abdominal gynecological and obstetric procedures to hold back abdominal incisions. Some of these procedures include abdominal hysterectomy, cesarean section, and procedures for ectopic pregnancy. Richardson retractor, one of the most commonly used retractors in general surgery, is used for retracting abdominal and chest incisions. It can hold back multiple layers of deep tissue. Diva retractor is used to retract deep abdominal or chest incisions. And it is also used in cholecystectomy to retract the right lobe of the liver and in truncal vagotomy to retract the left lobe of the liver. Next we have the Meyerding retractor, which is mainly used to retract tissue and muscle in spinal and neurosurgical procedures, such as laminectomy. Kelly retractor, which has a long, flat blade, is mainly used for deep exposure. Harrington retractor, is mainly used to retract the intestines and liver during abdominal surgery. Then we have the Zernia retractor, one of the most commonly used instrument in general surgery, including hernia repair and laparotomy. Morris retractor, another commonly used one, is mainly used to retract abdominal wall incisions, loin incisions, and subcostal wounds. Finally we have the Langenbeck retractor, which is commonly used to retract soft tissues such as skin and subcutaneous tissue. 